What is it, Chris? Right, it, um, it, it's episode 74. Is it? We have the daily check-in, rising ball skills with Pedro, sharing poems, origami with Tim's mum, zoo games with the gorgeous Fran, he, he, he captured the competition and is singing along with my top brother, Nicholas Quill. Brilliant. Thank you, Chris. Oh, on. Is that your favourite station? Wait, when I'm driving it is, but funnily <laughs> enough, oh, no. I can't tell you. I've got, I've got a moment for this. You're going to... I'm, I'm prescient again. We've done it again with the Cummings thing last time. The caption competition. Again, we've, we've been prescient. It's incredible. I'll stop there. In fact, I'm going to go and shut down a caption competition right now. <laughs> All right, then. What should we do, Theresa? Go on, Chris. Show number. Right. Quick run through, Chris. Right. The, the daily show. Under run through. <laughs> this is Dan's book, Nick. There's a whole chapter on community building, Brighton Table Tennis Club, um, Carney's Community, and yeah, I've just had a little skim, it looks good. Cool. Right, thumbs up today, or thumbs like this, or thumbs down if it's been a rotter, um, however you feel. I've had an okay one. Yes, Chris, nice strong thumbs there. Good. Good, good, good. Pippa's cooking tea again. Good. Well done, Lucy, getting on. You can see a nice background with your cat there as well. Brandon's giving us one hand thumb. I hope that does mean he's had a good day. I don't think lockdown's going to finish by the 10th of July, Brandon. I think we're in this for the long haul, mate. Go to five days a week. That's exactly what Laura said, and it was exactly right. I think we need to kind of, yeah, adjust to the situation, which is changing every day. But, um, Long live the Daily Show, I say. Yep. In some form or other. <laughs> Lovely. <sighs> and we had beautiful art yesterday. Thank you, Serena, for sending that. Or put it on Facebook as well. I was very proud. Chris O, I thought your painting yesterday was incredible. But no. Oh, yeah, thank amazing. you. Thank you. I just wanted to post those pictures up. Because... Yeah. Um, um, because on your status, it, on Facebook says um, my my own status. You, you could put a photo onto to your my space, it, and you can keep that photo it, 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 and get it blown up and say it, just have Chris's one basically. On Someone else's. <laughs> That's what he's getting at. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you and a four handle back handle, you might even go for some edges or some edges. But we've got to get to 74. So it has to be good. You've got to be good at counting here. So, really quick counting. So, the first to get 74. Once you've done 74, I would like you to sit down and put your back in front of your face. And then I can see that you are done. So, can you hold your bat and ball ready if I can see you're going to do the challenge? Tim's ready. Lenora's ready. Chris O's ready. Serena's ready. So's Wenway. It is going to be a race. Lucy's ready. Yes. Right. Here we go. On your marks, get set, go. Andrew's looking good. Yes, Lenora. Lenora's got a battle. Keep going, everybody else. Lenora's gold medal. Wenwei is coming with silver medal. Tim has come in with bronze along with Andrew. Fantastic. Let's just see those others finishing off. Yes, Serena, very respectable fourth place. And is everybody done? Yes. Magic. Fantastic. Well done, Lucy. You finish it off. Yay, and Susie's done as well. Brilliant. Yay, well done, everybody. Fantastic. Uh, and she found something good about the lockdown, even though she got a bit of mental health problems. Uh, she found something very, very special that she was beginning to feel positive about. So it's called Quiet Revelations, and it's Claire, Claire Gravenor. Uh, it starts like this. Hush, hush, everyone. Listen. Listen to the quietness of not doing. Listen to the chorus of birds outside. 
listen to the raucous rounds of applause for the NHS workers, listen to your neighbours talk for the first time, listen to your elders' fears of dying and their pain inside, listen to your darkest thoughts in the prison of your home, listen to your body's need for rest and sleep, but listen to the silence of your soul while your heart beats. Lockdown has unearthed and awakened us to something never experienced before. Thankfully, I am alive listening to this new world. Oh, that's beautiful, Lenora. Lovely, lovely. Yes. Mine, Claire, Claire Grosvenor. Yeah, something I, special in a difficult time. That's perfect. Yeah, she, she's a different perfect. example. Yeah. Serena. Fabulous, thank you. Hi, Serena. Hello. Okay. Uh, right, here we go. <laughs> trudge, trudge, trudge up the hill up the steep hill trudge 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 the sweat is running down trudge 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 just one more ridge again trudge 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 the view i can't explain so wondrous and vast trudge 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 i'd do it all again oh nice oh, oh that's great lovely. <laughs> yeah yeah oh, lovely all you. that work and then that beauty so that's great lovely <laughs> Beautiful Susie, I think, is next along the line. Um, well, I was taking, I was putting a, a cover over our makeshift table tennis table, and uh, there was a lot of snails around. And um, I don't, I, I don't particularly think they're very pretty, but um, I remembered what Liz was saying about, you know finding something pretty in you know in something uh, and and to be quite honest the, the sliminess of taking them off the cover was <laughs> quite so i wrote this little bit about the snail a sticky shell full of nature's patterns clambering to get a drink on a wet tarpaulin a life so precious no different from ours a soul seeking survival, a snail eats leaves. It is a gardener's bane, but has many stories. The animal who carries its home, going somewhere, going nowhere. What are you thinking, thou with your home on your back? Where are you going as you slide along, leaving a sticky debris? How are you feeling when you are evicted, transported to another place, somewhere else, our ancient creature? That was beautiful, Susie. Beautiful, lovely. Thank you. Really lovely. Okay. Right, I think it's Lucy, alias Harry Potter next. <laughs> Yeah, I, I named it after disaster, but came a beauty. Well, I think it's beauty, and it's about my hair situation that went on. Okay, as I, I practiced it earlier with my mum. Rat's tail, on my hair. It gets bigger and bigger. My hair, the bigger the knot, the more the more unbeautiful it gets. But the beauty of my hair no longer but I went to this hairdresser she was so she was so blown away how bad my hair was she was she was sad but but then she came happy because she did something good and made my hair beautiful again that's oh, lovely. Beautiful. That's Thank lovely. You. That's what we're all desperate for, isn't it? Now, getting it all sorted. Beautiful. Okay. Lovely. Cool. It's wonderful how many you want to share today, Liz. I've got a little one. I'll I'll do mine, and then if there is a come on, then T. Okay. Here's mine. My messy lounge, Hoover out. I hate this job. But then pulling out the sofa to get the crumbs and dust, there is the wonder of an orange BTTC. Ping pong ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> they're everywhere in my house. It's beautiful, but you know, I bet it's beautiful to you. <laughs> That's great. Lovely tea. <laughs> Okay, did I miss anybody out? Wave now or Andrew. Oh Andrew. Yeah, I got one. I got about lockdown. I have got F will be against F1 on the Gilly show is a good thing. Because we all loved it. Because we can't go out yet. And that's why. And because that's what we need to do to stay indoors or do exercise outside or something. That's nice for the Big Kiki C Record Show. It's amazing. With Kimmy as a host, and Carissa and Chris, I know because I believe that. I believe in my friends. All of you. And believe that, my friends. Lovely. Thank you, Andrew. Radio show is certainly a highlight and um, valuable those lost balls, Susie said. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are. They're so beautiful. <laughs> and, and I shall never look at table tennis ball again. They're quite lovely. They're quite lovely. Nick's asked if Susie could share the, uh, your, what you've written in the chat. That'd be nice. Yeah, it would be lovely. Susie said it could be written down somewhere. Yeah, maybe they could all be compiled that would be nice in it, it Liz do you want to tell us about next week's one yeah right next week is going to be very poetic actually we're going to have quite a bit of poetry there's going to be one on Monday and there's going to be one on Thursday that's planned for we'll talk about that later um, but there is a challenge for next Thursday um, and it's really easy so you, it's easy you can remember it quite easily as well and some of you might have done this before I don't know and it's called I used to be but now okay and it starts off I used to be something and then it goes on to but now so I'll give you a couple of examples but it can be almost anything so the obvious one is I used to be a caterpillar but now I am a butterfly okay and then you get other ones that mean different things to people I used to be sad a lot but now you've made me happier I've actually had Brandon entering the competition on a, my, on a private WhatsApp, so desperate because I closed the WhatsApp group at a certain time. But Brandon, so keen, has sent in some last minute entries. Bring and one of them, one of them has actually made the final. Mick Cree, <laughs> WhatsApp etiquette is bringing a whole yeah. new meaning to lockdown. Harry's ringing me right now, so I declined. Sorry, Harry. Okay. Here are the winning ones. This is what I asked you to do, and here are the winning ones. Okay. And then I'll tell you the suspense underneath. There's going to be the actual winner. So here goes. Firstly, from Lenora. Bat suits and masks will be issued to all frontline staff. Very good. <laughs> Next one. From Tim. Bat soup, anyone? <laughs> Bit of a reference to COVID-19, yeah, okay. <coughs> Next one, from Brandon. Life in lockdown is certainly taking a toll on poor Batman. From Lenora again. Possible side effects of coronavirus. Very good. Next one from Liz. Can't be accused of overthinking these. Okay, this is more a PhD <laughs> document than a caption but let's go for it anyway it's not who we are underneath but what we do that defines us shopping today saving the world tomorrow it's actually very good <laughs> brilliant next one um my one not so great i hope robin won't be angry that i couldn't get his beloved earl grey tea bags okay um i'm sure there's a only fools and horses joke in there or something. Uh, uh, Sorry. You're ruining it. You're Sorry. ruining it. Okay. Next one. Um, it's from Susie. Very good. This is Dominic Cummings thinking, perhaps they won't recognize me in this gear. Very good indeed. Um, Gary's uh, censored. One last one from Brandon. 
maybe not to your PC, but genius. Fat man. <laughs> Classy, yeah. but the winner of this week's competition Daddy, is as follows. Daddy, you plonker, Rodney. You're meant to cover your nose and your mouth from Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> now this is the next one that's great so thank you so much for that that was brilliant now the next one i'm going to do a little bit like they do in the photography thing i'm going to tell you i'm going to give you a bit of a help because we get some that are a little bit way off but anyway obviously it's subjective so the next one as i said unbelievably um unbelievably i chose this before nigel farage was actually sacked anyway this is LBC, this is a radio thing, so you've got to think, what are this, what's this presenter and this guest or whatever thinking and saying? So you could have the caption saying something like, presenters just heard ridiculous, uh, or I don't know, presenters just heard caller advocate Trump's re-election or something like that. Anyway, no. you could do something like that. I think they're both saying, oh, not another one of Nick's jokes. Yeah. Or... <laughs> Is that David Christ, Cummings? Christ, that... I wish callers would stop calling in and talking about table tennis. Yeah. Something like that. Brexit. Um, anyway, so that's, that that's David Cameron. Action. Is it David Cameron or does it not matter? It is David Cameron, but it doesn't actually matter. Okay. Why? Now it's not letting me join the meeting. I can't join in. Okay, stop share. Right. So... And a dog. Chris O. You can't think. Chris, you've got E. You've got E, Chris. Oh, sorry, I'll unmute you, you Chris. E. Sorry, mate. We'll do it like that. We'll go around. Sorry. Hi. Um, well, uh, I'll come up with. Um, wait, wait, wait. Elliot. Um, elephant. Um, iguana. Lenora. Well done, Chris. I'm going to give Nick Z. What letter has Lenora got? She's got F. F. F for... You there, Lenora? Oh, sorry. Uh, a name, isn't it, right? Yeah. Felix. What was the other categories? I've forgotten. And an animal. An animal. Oh, a yeah, frog. Yeah. yeah. Nick, your letter is N. Wait, Sally something. Sally Phillips. Yeah. There we go. Lovely. You right, Mum? Yeah. Should we give Fran a round of applause for the quiz? Yeah, that was lovely. Thank, Thank you, Fran. Thank you. That was lovely. We all got to go. That works well in the mini bus. That one. Yeah. We did on the way back from Plymouth. Brilliant. So we literally now have got your mum doing origami and then just the sing-along. So we've done brilliantly for time. That was great time in Helen. Should we do spotlight? Spotlight? Is that helpful for everyone? Yeah. What's that mean? Yeah, Should we can see, see you, Helen. Sorry, I don't understand. Okay. Yeah, you're on spotlight, spotlight Helen. Okay. So we're going to make these today. They're like... Nashers, you see, you can yeah. put an eye on if you want. I'll show you how to make them. Uh, has anyone managed to make another boat? All my boats are up there. Good. And the other thing I was going to suggest is that if you've got, if you get the bits of paper, I've got a folder now. So in my folder is in order of what we've made with the pattern and then behind it, one example. So at the end of it all, because the thing with origami is you can't always remember stuff. And then if you've got, if you get pound, pound land, I'm an advert for pound land, pound folder. And then you just put each of your pictures in with one example behind. And then you've got that to look back on. You did show me a photo, mum. You know these ones that we did? Oh, yeah. If you do like a big one and then a slightly smaller one and a slightly smaller one and a slightly smaller one, you can just put them on top of each other, don't you? Yeah. That's, that's, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, now this is, I'm going to teach you how to make this long nasher, but now, but I did also find another pattern, 
and it just said you take your boat from last week. Can you all see? Right, I'm gonna yeah. Right, you take your boat from last week, and at the very end, you open out the middle, and you because you got the sail of the boat in the middle, hadn't you? Do you remember? Yeah. And you tuck that sail underneath one of the sides of the boat, and you close it. Well, I just tilt your camera down a bit. So you can't see your hands. Sorry, darling. All right. And, okay, I'll do it again. So, in your little boat, the boats you made last week. I'm going to show you another way of doing, it, but this is a quick way I found. So, there's the boat, and it's got the sail in the middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to put that sail, tuck it inside under one of the side pieces inside, mm -hmm. and close it up. Mm -hmm. Close it, and then look, watch. Right, and then uh -huh. if you go again to Poundland, you can get these eyes to put on. Have you seen these googly eyes? No, they're good. So that is just, that's one way of making a nasher, which is your boat from last week. Yeah, can you remember that? Your boat from last week, and then you tuck in the sail under one of the sides inside, and then you fold it down. And then you get these eyes and stick them on the side. Okay, but let's today, did any of you manage to get the instructions? Tim, do you forward them? Yeah. Yeah. Good, okay. Right. So, it's going to look like this at the end here. Yeah? If we're using A4, it's going to look like that. Obviously, with A5, it's going to get smaller, yeah? And it's like a gripper. Okay, let's try. Everyone ready? Yeah. So you start with a sheet of printer paper. I think probably if I fold in white, it's easiest to see, isn't it? No, it's there we oh. go. Right. So you get your you get your sheet of paper and you fold it back towards you, and you do what's called a book fold. Is the light on my screen? Sorry. <laughs> One. Yeah, we can see. Yeah. Can see. Okay. Now, in picture, now we're going to take the bottom, the fold is at the top, agreed? Fold at the top. Now you're going to take just the top layer from the bottom up to the top. So you took the bottom, the top layer only, take the bottom up to the top. But if those of you have got the instructions, it then says the arrow goes both ways. So it says do it and come back. Now, each corner on the front piece, you're going to fold a triangle up to the fold line. One side, two sides. Everyone with me? Can you unmute people, Tim? So I can hear if everyone's okay. Right. Yeah, it's all good so far. Right, picture, picture four, you're simply rolling up the bottom piece with the triangles and you're rolling it up on the fold you had already and it's going up to the top. So you, you had your two triangles and then you fold just the top layer up to the top. We've got to picture five on your sheet. What does that funny squiggle sign mean? Andrew, what's that squiggle mean? Yeah. There's a squiggle on picture five. What's the squiggle mean? We're not looking at the instructions, Mum. You're not? Okay. Well, right. We've got them on WhatsApp. People have got them on WhatsApp. We were just watching okay. you. Okay, just watch me. Yeah, okay. we follow you, Ben. Sorry. Okay, we just turn it over then. I think the instructions would be useful later if they're needed, but we'll do it first with you. Okay, sorry. That's right. right. So now the squiggle means just turn it over. So we turn the whole thing over. Yeah. So you've just got a plain sheet. And then... Let's do again, fold from the bottom up to the top. Do the fold and back. Are with me all right? Yep. Now, each corner, I love the symmetry of this. All four corners, we're gonna take down to the middle. One triangle. All four corners, bring the triangle down to the middle line. Take your time of getting it accurate. There we go, two. Three, four. So what shape have we got? It's got six sides. What's a shape with six sides? Uh, 
Hexagon. Hexagon, good. Is it? Right, yep, good. Well, my mind's not right. right. Does everyone's look like that? Right, I'll go back. Right. Anyone else's look like that? Yeah, I think so. Oh, hang on. Serena's just said, I'll, I'll, I'll allow anyone, allow people to unmute themselves because people might have questions. Yeah, unmute yourself. Yeah. Mine doesn't look like that. Sorry, can you go back? I'll go back, yeah. So I'm going right back, yeah. I'm going back to the other side. Right, should I go back to the beginning quickly? Right. Yeah, quickly to the beginning, yeah. So first of all, you just folded the top down. And then you took the you, from the middle, you went up to the top mm -hmm. and brought it back again. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Just shout if you're not with me. Yeah. Now, each corner, no. there, somebody's not with me. Who's not happy? Me. Andrew. Right, yeah. Andrew, I'm going to start on another one. Right. <clears throat> Fold it down. I got, I got this far. Yeah, that's right. right, Andrew. I think you're 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 ahead of me. <laughs> right, and then so you fold it down, book fold, fold the bottom line up to the top, and back, and then each corner, the two corners at the bottom, you fold up two triangles. Everyone okay so far? Yeah. I think yes. so. And then, and then you take that. There's a fold there already. You just roll it up. And this is where some of you might have gone wrong. You then turn it over. Turn it over, and what we're going to do is I want that I want the fold line in the middle up to the, and back. Now, each of the four corners is going to go into the middle. You should have a flat piece of paper. Each of your four oh, yeah. corners go into the middle. Four corners. Person who was stuck before, I don't know who it was. Are they all right now? Yes. Four corners to the middle. Got it. Um, I haven't yet. So it should look like that. Oh, yeah, cool. and then we go. We literally roll it up. You're not making a new fold. You roll it up to the top. Mine looks like this. It's not right. Yes, it is. That's fine. No, it's not. It's not flat. Oh God! Wait a minute. <laughs> and the last stage, you do oh, the got, four corners. I got that far. Right. 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 Let's finish one. Oh, and um, right. Can, and I, then, can I ask you a question at this stage? Um, should the when we've done it like that, yeah. When we're putting it back down, the double bit goes at the top, doesn't it? The yeah. flat, flappy bit. Yeah. Okay. On one side, you've got three edges like that. Look. Yeah. And on the other side, we're going to open it out. Um, so you're going to fold it to the middle. Uh, no, I get it. You did get that shape. Fold it to the middle and then cut. You do a little oh. cut. Not supposed to which side sorry, you go. cut? Yeah, which oh, side you cut, Helen? Which side? Uh, the open side. The, no, the sorry. Side. Where the double, where it's double. Yeah. So right. cut, and then Good you part. fold back. Centimeter cut. Mm, probably less than that. And then you fold those back. One side, two oh, side. Oh, I, might have I, I think that. next week, Tim, I think it would be better if people did print out the instructions. Right, there we go. Now, it's ready. And we get that far, and then we open it out. Did anyone manage one? Let's have a look. I can't see one. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cancel your spotlight. Looks like there's a few people that have made it work. I think we're just watching, eh? Susie and Liz have got one. Andrew, what's happened to yours? Serena's got one. I've just got this now. I feel like I've got Yeah, mine's wrong. No, you're, you're there, Tim. What do you do after you, that you, once you've folded it back? That, okay. You're on the... Fold it in half, Nick. Yeah. Yeah, and then just, that's it. Yeah. Oh, did you do the cutting? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then if you want to, you can stick the eyes on here. I actually tore it slightly rather than cut it. You need you needed scissors. Well, you, you're welcome. I didn't need that. scissors. So, how many, so Nick's got one. Anyone else manage one? Let's see. Oh, mine's rubbish. A pen. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Pen. 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 What do you think of Tim's jokes? Rubbish. 
Rubbish. What do you think of Tim's origami? Rubbish. You're, you're nearly there, Tim. You, Tim, you need, need to fold it up. I think you're better at table tennis than you are at origami. We found his weakest point. Tim, 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 that, in, Tim that is correct. Just fold it in half with the triangles inside. We've yeah. done it. That's it. <laughs> Susie's having a puppet show. Now, split it in the middle. Cut it yeah. in the middle. Rip, rip it in the middle. Uh, one, one was made from the boat and the other was made from scratch. What and where you've ripped, no, you've opened it out again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And from the rip, fold each one up. Along the slim line. Did you not do this in your childhood, Tim? Really not. Outrageous. What were you doing? <laughs> All this table tennis rubbish. Painting trophies. <laughs> Should have been doing this. <laughs> That's gone. All right. Now? Seems just nearly done. Right, lay that on the ground, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> it's a flatfish. Yes. Yeah. Not the stone. Oh, let's Seriously, there's a script today. Right. As Michael Rosley would say. Left them one to one later. <laughs> <laughs> like a pelican beak. Yeah. And then, of course, if you make it a slightly smaller one. Um. You get a smaller. I think I think I think I'm using the wrong paper here. I think uh, I'm using the wrong well paper. Yeah. I think you're know. using pimples, Tim. You're using pimples. <laughs> wrong bat. Hmm? No, let, let me see everyone how many we've got. Fish. Dan, Dan was just watching. Andrew, did it work? No. Right, show how far you got. Show me how far you got, Andrew. Hold it up. Right, from last week. We should all hold it up, do a screenshot. Or have you got a boat there, Andrew? Have you got one of your boats? I cry, but it's nothing work. Right, Andrew, where's your boat? Got fat and skinny. Right, if you take your boat, Andrew. Yes. In the middle of the boat. Take your boat, and in the middle of the boat, you've got um <laughs> sail, haven't you, Andrew? You've got a yes. sail in the middle of the boat. So tuck that sail under one side. Yeah, I do. And then you've got, have you, tuck, have you hidden the sail? Yes. And then wash it down, look, and you've got a little one. It's like a, that's more like a mouth, isn't it? That's it. But inside, Andrew, press those bits down a bit more. But, yeah. right, Andrew, is that these? Is it these ones? Yeah, that's your boat, isn't it? Yes. Is that, is that your boat? Oh, right, press man. the bottom bit down a bit. What do I do with my boat? I can't see you. You see it now, Andrew? Yes. You're getting rid of the sail. You get rid of the sail and then you go. Andrew, that's right, you've done it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Done it. So that's yeah, from your boat. Andrew. That's from your boat. So can you show everyone and see how many we've got? Yeah. Gallery view. Yeah. Who's in spotlight, Andrew? Yeah. yeah. Andrew's in spotlight. All right, gallery view. 15 people and there's uh, 13 crashes. <laughs> oh, am I getting a screenshot? Hang on. Three, two, one. I've, I've done some screenshots. Have you? Can you send me them? Yeah, I will do. All right then. <laughs> that was good. That was good, Helen. We love Thank it, you. Helen. We love it. Don't be disappointed. I'm sure someone can show you. Oh, you've got these mm -hmm. trees that are as, as, as for oh, Tim, yeah. we'll have to have a special remedial class for you. Poor <laughs> <laughs> Tim. I know. I need help. Oh, you're no, so it's you haven't tried. You haven't been trying hard enough. Here's someone made earlier. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Fancy. Yeah. I like those. Helen, what are you oh, making? Oh, How do you oh, make them? Yeah, I just I just make these in my sleep. Oh, you'll <laughs> have to show us next week, Tim. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm full demonstration. These. these have been made in, in, in uh, Earl Stoke Prison by some of my wow. mum. They're really oh, fantastic. I'd like to make, we learn to make that. If they, want, if they want a real origami teacher to come in, then give them my number. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to know if Lucy got the present she wanted from her brother. Helen, can you show us next week how to make those dear little hearts that you do, like the little hearts or stars? I don't think you've shown us those. Is it the little hearts? 
What, love these? To show your heart. Oh, Andrew, that's Andrew can show you that. That's Andrew's. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, Andrew, you, Andrew teach you that. It's amazing, Andrew. Mm. Yes. Lovely, Is Andrew. it easy, I, Andrew? I can teach you. I can Andrew teach you. Teach. Teach. Andrew, you okay. can do that one. Yes. You can have a day off, Mum. <laughs> Andrew, was that it? Kev, no was way. It? I'm taking away your sing song, sorry, but you get you get the idea. Um, yeah, brilliant. How are you? Thanks, Helen. Thank you. That was oh, great. thank you, Helen. It's my pleasure. Okay, thank, you for put, you thank you for putting up with my son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not at all. He's lovely. Lovely. We, we, love, we, love, we love Tim, in fact. Tim, Tim. Oh, Tim. Mum, mum, mum. Oh, it's in Brenton. It's Lucy's present. They got like your payroll up this size. All right, Andrew, we'll do that next week, shall we? Because yeah, 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 yeah. Show me next week, Andrew. Andrew, yeah, if Andrew, if Andrew, Andrew finds instructions, send it. Andrew, Luke, yes. show my mum your um your sign that you made about the Daily Show. Oh, yeah, okay. It's on your Lucy. table. Lucy, Lucy. Not your son, and you, you Helen wants to know what you got from your brother. Oh. Look at I that. got a nice top de um, uh, devil stick. That's okay. great, Andrew. Say so that again. That's beautiful, Andrew. Lucy, say that again. I got a light up devil stick yes. from my brother. Oh, yeah, you should. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that means. Oh, I can, I can get him tomorrow. What do you think, Tim? Yeah, if there's time, yeah. What I'm going to do. Sorry, I've disturbed you. Uh, is uh, meet everyone because uh, Lucy's getting a devil stick. But Susie, have you got a connection to the shop? Oddball's the shop. Yeah. One in Brighton. Yeah, I, I helped to find found, find the first one in uh, 1984 in London. Covent Garden. Actually, actually, it was in our flat. First of all. <laughs> Is it in Covent Garden? Uh, no, uh, that was a stall in Covent Garden. It was. It's in. We've got one in Camden Lot, and we had one in Islington Park Street originally, but now we have, and we had one in Manchester, we had one in Oxford, all, all different places. But now we have two. We have one in a Camden Lot one, and we also have um, one in Brighton, of course. Kensington Gardens. Yeah, and also we have an oh, online yeah. store, and we also supply to shops internationally all over the world. And so make our where, own equipment too. Is that where the devil stick came from? Yes. Yeah. So show us what you got. Oh, <gasps> oh wow. You can, oh. You can twirl that in your hand. Oh, as well. look at that. Lucy, that is amazing. And she can Whoa. do it. Lucy can do it. Yeah, that's that's and brilliant. I've got one too. <laughs> well, she needs to have a two-minute slot to do that one of your shows next Definitely. week. Definitely. Definitely, Lucy. Stick. We'll put that I'm in not. the slot next week. Give her a slot to show it. <gasps> my sister my sister must have been about, I don't know, 18 or something. She had a fire poi. I'm sure oddballs sell poise. Yes. We were doing it on the roof of our flat in central London, and a police helicopter came down told her to get off. Well, I've got, um, tonight I'm doing a, an interview about um, the history of uh, street performing, how we started oh. off balls and stuff uh, for the street entertainers. What and I've got a few funny tales to tell. And, and I've asked some of the people back in the 80s to give me memories. And they've given me some very funny memories too. Well, is that, is that, is that on, you're doing that on YouTube or what are you doing I'm that doing on? I'm doing that on Facebook Watch. Can someone do a screenshot, Lucy? Screenshot. Send link, please. I'll put a link on my Facebook and um, then you'll see. It's it's called Encourageable Rogue. <laughs> I'm doing a screenshot of Lucy, quick. I used yeah. to love to Lucy, cop hard watching the street performers. Lucy does beautiful poise as well. And she does a hula hoop and dances with it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, and her newly acquired skill of cigar boxes. Yeah. Beautiful. To the oddball shop, and there's just unbelievable birthday presents for life. <laughs> yeah, she asked Lucy, she'll probably get a discount for you. <laughs> Monsieur Creel, what are we listening to? Well, we, I gave you a choice actually, but I think we'll go with Candy Stat and Young Hearts Run Free. Yeah, nice song. We can all have a dance, and we'll keep the other one for another time. So, Young Ooh, Hearts Run Free, Candy Staten. Nice song. We can just dance a bit and relax.
Bang on. Go. It's coming. Loved it. So good. <laughs>